Hey guys, and welcome back to yet another episode uh, on my channel. Um, again, thank you to all the uh, new subscribers uh, and everyone who has, uh, you know, of course, been uh, watching the videos while uh, most of us, if not all of us, have been uh, pretty much staying inside and uh, social distancing, as they say. So yet another week we have pretty much gotten through and... Um, figured why not do another episode so welcome to part three again this is the uh, dive watch uh, series episodes um, again you know guys don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and please leave your comments in the section below um, I really hope that these videos have been helping you guys out tremendously with you know deciding which watch to buy seeing all the different kinds that are all in all the different kind of categories and um, yeah, uh, I guess over these next uh, couple days we'll uh, get this you know first part of the uh, series wrapped up, and then uh, next weekend we'll go into the next part. Um, anyways, we're going to continue uh, today with uh, this this somewhat list a little bit here. Yeah, it's uh, it's going to start to get up a little pricey, uh, but I think some uh, people's favorites may start to uh, surface a little bit. So, anyways. Let's uh, get right into it. Uh, we're going to go with uh, number 25. It's the uh, Marathon Search and Rescue Divers Automatic. All right, guys. So we are now at MarathonWatch.com. Sign up for their newsletter, I guess, of course. And uh, this is the Search and Rescue Divers Automatic with Date and Tritium, GSAR. Gray maple markings on dial, it's 41 millimeters. You guys can see the reference number there. And of course the uh, price, it says taxes are of course uh, not included. Um, this is the watch itself. It's got a little bit of like a diver, but also military um, vibe to it with the 24 hour scale going around it. And uh, that's the watch kind of up close there. These are just all the different uh, views we can go through with rubber strap, stainless steel, of course. I mean, yeah, this is, you know, this is, uh, you know, it's a watch with a couple different offerings, which is nice. And um, in a minute, you know, I'll let you guys know whether or not uh, there's really, you know, other. Um, other option, you know, other options to have it be easy to put straps on or not. But I uh, just want to show you guys some pictures there. Again, this one is one thousand six hundred and forty dollars. Okay, and again, it comes on the gray maple stainless steel bracelet and/or the gray maple rubber strap. So let's get into some of the uh, details here. Um, it is a self-winding automatic twenty-five jewel movement. Um, the so the scale range it just shows uh, that's the uh, 24 uh, hour um, kind of like inner uh, inner numbers that you get within the uh, dial. Um, it's got tritium gas tubes and Mariglow, so very similar to what uh, Luminox does. They're supposed to last up to around 25 years. Uh, they just technically stay lit. They don't necessarily need like a light to be shined on them. Although the the glow is less um, it's not as bright I should say compared to super luminova um, but it's supposed to last a lot longer with tritium uh, 316L stainless steel case it is 30 ATM which is a uh, very similar I'm just gonna do a little point here to the Omega we'll get to that in a little bit um, and it has a unidirectional uh, rotating bezel sapphire crystal with a screwed in crown 41 millimeter case diameter and it does have the date uh the date on this particular one just to show you guys is at between four and five o'clock so that's marathon next we're gonna go into the christopher ward c60 elite 1000 Okay, guys, so we're going to be taking a trip now over to ChristopherWard.com. Full disclosure, I do own this watch, and the reason why I own it, it was because I started making this, um, 
you know, uh, this list, of course, and then this watch popped up and just whatever. But we'll get into, you know, you guys could watch my unboxing and review, and we'll get into some other things at another time. But anyways, this is the C60 Elite 1000, uh, blue and, and orange, and you guys can see the reference number there. And this watch is in titanium. Uh, grade 2 titanium case, water resistant to 1,000 meters. Uh, exhibition case bag, similar to my Omega. Uh, it is a chronometer certified movement, which means it is minus four to plus six seconds per day accuracy. Um, it does have the day date, and uh, it is uh, very light, uh, only 77 uh, grams, 42 millimeters in diameter, a uh, blue dial with an automatic movement. And uh, this particular watch is $1,680. And uh, let's go into the uh, video instead of maybe some photos. Does come on other strap options. Helium escape valve as well. See the uh, bezel, dial, and hands are all loomed. This crown and the helium escape valve is uh, built into the side of the case. And very light titanium, much more durable than stainless steel. So that is the video there. And, um,. And just exit there. We can uh, scroll down just a little bit here. Take a look at some of the uh, technical data. So 42 millimeters diameter, 15.4 millimeters height, and 77 grams and 133 grams on the full 21 centimeter bracelet. Of course, took a couple uh, links out, but still very, very, very light. Uh, it is the caliber SW220 from Salita, COSE certified. Grade 2 titanium, water resistance to 100 ATM, not to be confused with 10 ATM. Uh, go, uh, beats at 28,800 vibrations per hour, which is 4 hertz. Timing tolerance, you guys can see there. It has Super Luminova grade X1 GLC1, lug to lug of 49.3 millimeters, and a bracelet width of 22 millimeters. One of the things that I personally will say, and then also these are just, these are just like a lot of the features that they have. I'm not going to go through all of them, but I'll let you guys rather um, read them uh, and stuff. But as I did mention, uh, it does come uh, with the um, integrated. Um, I want to see if I can find a good picture of it. I don't know if I can here. Um, see here you guys can kind of like see it over here um, that's the integrated helium escape valve right over there so it kind of like pops out of the case a little bit but um, anyways this is a very serious watch um, I highly recommend getting it uh, very cool um, so that's Christopher Ward again at $1,680 next we're gonna go into is the Epos 3441SK Okay, guys, and we're back here. We're now at shop.epos.ch. So this was a watch that I actually almost purchased myself. Um, you guys can see here the reference number, the price, $1,855. And that's the watch there. It's actually fully skeletonized. One of the only fully skeletonized dive watches I think I've ever seen. Uh, of course, unidirectional rotating bezel, stainless steel, and uh, this is another view there. All right. So, let's get into um, let's get into some of the details here. Um, that's the reference number, as you guys can see. Just want to show that to you. And it has a uh, skeleton diving watch with ceramic bezel and helium valve. 
Okay, so let's get into some of the details here. Has the date ring orange, uh, base movement SW200, automatic movement uh, with the date, of course. Uh, the ma case material stainless steel with a ceramic bezel. Uh, it is steel, black bezel with the orange uh, markings, of course. 43 millimeters in diameter, 14.5 millimeters thickness, 22 millimeters of lug width, so of course you could uh, change the band out. Actually, what I wanted to just mention previously with the uh, Christopher Ward was if you get the titanium bracelet on that, chances are you're not going to want to change out the um, the bracelet on there because titanium is just amazing unless you want to put like a NATO or other strap or like a rubber on there, but the titanium is amazing, so that's why you don't really want to change out the bracelet there. Uh, getting back to this one, the front crystal is scratch resistant, uh, curved sapphire. The back is see-through, so exhibition, and it's mineral. It's not sapphire. Uh, water resistance of 50 ATM. Uh, let's see here. Uh, index applied uh, hour markers. And, of course, the strap, stainless steel, folding buckle, and it's silver. So that is the uh, EPOS 3441SK. And again, $1,681. But with everything, uh, hold on one second. So I did just want to bring it back to the website for just one quick second. Um, the the price of $1,855 includes like everything. That's like taxes, imports, whatever it is. Um, so that's the price on that one, just to let you guys know. And uh, delivery time is 48 working days. Next, we're going to go into the Raymond Weil Freelancer Diver Watch. Okay, guys, so now we're at RaymondWheel-Wheel.us. And this is the uh, Freelancer uh, Rubber Strap Diver Watch, 42 millimeters, black rubber strap, black dial, black ceramic bezel. Price on this one is $1,795. That's pretty much all in. That's the uh, watch itself, of course. And uh, let's take a look at some pictures here. Do some zoom-ins. You see the date wheel at uh, 4 o'clock. This is the uh, case back here. It's just a typical screw-back case. And this is the uh, side profile with the uh, embossed crown. And this one has a mechanical movement, automatic winding, 38 hour power reserve, 42 millimeter diameter case with date window at four o'clock, sleek black ceramic uh, bezel and dial. Um, and yeah, that's it for that one. This one is uh, water resistance to 300 meters, 38 TM and or 1000 feet. Let's take a look at some of the uh, technical uh, stats here. Uh, that's the reference number. Uh, it's mechanical with automatic winding, so hand winding and automatic. 38 hours of power reserve, 4.6 millimeter movement caliber height, uh, stainless steel uh, case with black ceramic bezel, 42 millimeter case size. The case thickness is 11.8 millimeters. Case back is screw down. Water resistance is 300 meters, as I mentioned. Crystal is sapphire uh, with anti glare treatment on both sides. Uh, the dial is black with uh, indexes. Date window at 4. The crown is screwed down with the Raymond Wheel logo, again embossed. Uh, black genuine rubber strap, but then also I'm going to show you guys something else. Um, and the clasp is stainless steel folding with double push security system. Another kind of cool thing I just want to show you guys is, is that uh, for $1,850, you guys get the stainless steel version. So almost like um, it's like a Jubilee bracelet that uh, Rolex offers. So that's uh, just the other option for that one. I think we went through pretty much all the stats there. Yes, we did. All right, perfect. So that was the Raymond Wheel Freelancer. Next, we're going into the Aquadive, the Aquadive 100. Okay, guys, we're back, and we're at shop.aquadive.com. This is the uh, blue edition. Of course, this is the uh, watch itself. 
And of course we could do a nice little zoom in there. You guys can see that's uh, a thousand meters of water resistance or 3,300 feet, which is nuts. And uh, actually let's go back into this and we'll just kind of go uh, to the next picture so you guys can see. And very nice with the, uh, of course, the super luminova on the bezel and um, on the hands and everything. Very nice touch there. Watch from the side view. Just beautiful, uh, beautiful, nice popping blue there. Very easy to read. And those are the pictures there. Um, so let's see what we have here. Uh, tech specs we want to, of course, get to. Um, this is the AquaDive 100. It's a 42.9 millimeter diameter, 49 millimeter lug to lug, 12.5 millimeter case thickness, including the case back, uh, with 14.0 uh, millimeters. So it's really 14 millimeters. I'm not sure why they just put in the 12.5 without the case back, but. Um, case material is 316L, surgical stainless steel, helium release valve, automatic, HRV at 6 o'clock, meaning that down there is the helium escape valve at 6. But I can't really see it too well from the pictures. Um, the bezel is 43 millimeters unidirectional ratcheting, 120 click rotating with blue ceramic timing ring. Uh, blue dial, super luminova markers and hands, as well as bezel, water resistance to 100 bar, uh, iso frame rubber strap with sign pin buckle, or optional stainless steel mesh with fold over clasp. Let's see if I can get to take a look at that one because I didn't really show pictures of it. Um, caliber ETA 2824-2, elaborate grade, which means it's just a top of the line kind of grade compared to I guess a regular ETA 2824-2. Um, it has hours, minutes, sweep seconds, date. Uh, adjusted to five positions with certificate provided. Power reserve of 42 hours, fully wound in the lab. Um, I guess adjusted to five positions. Um, a lot of times you would think that's COSC certified, although sometimes that's to six positions. But anyways, should mean that the watch is very accurate. Uh, it is self-winding, it has 25 joules, and it beats at 20,800 vibrations per hour, or 4 hertz. And, um, yeah, I wanted to kind of see the, uh, oh, that's the weight of the watch and dimensions. I want to see if they had the picture of the mesh, but I don't see that at all. That's <laughs> kind of weird. But anyways... So that's the AquaDive 100 at $1,890. Not even sure what the um, what the price on the mesh bracelet would be, but it could be around $2,000 or more, but not really sure. So that's the uh, AquaDive 100. Next, we're going into the eBell Discovery at $1,950. And welcome back. We are currently at ebell.com. It's another watch that I was considering getting a while ago. Uh, this is the uh, ebell uh, Discovery, $1,950. And this is the uh, picture of it with the uh, white dial date. As you guys can see, water resistant to 200 meters with the date at 6 o'clock. So it comes on rubber and steel. Again, another common theme that we've been seeing a lot of. Ooh, that is a big picture there. There you go. So that's really the uh, dial there, as you guys can see. Click off of that for now. And uh, let's get into um, some of the specs here. Um, it is a stainless steel case, 41 millimeters diameter, lacquer white dial with Arabic numerals and applied indexes. Has a sapphire crystal with anti-reflective treatment underneath. Stainless steel bracelet. Comes with additional black rubber strap, as you guys just saw. Swiss automatic movement. Water resistant up to 20 bar. You guys can see some of the details here that we just uh, went over. Of course. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of it for that. So that's the eBell Discovery. Let's now go into 
the Eterna Super Contiki Heritage at $2,048. So now we're crossing the $2,000 mark. Okay, guys, we're back on Amazon.com, of course. And this is the Eterna Contiki Super um, Heritage Watch. That's the reference number there. $2,069. Um, and these are just some of the uh, features that it does have. This one actually says push, pull, crown, which is actually kind of interesting. I thought it was going to at least be a uh, screw down crown. I think sometimes Amazon doesn't get that stuff right. I went onto their website and I believe it's a, um, a screw down crown. Just a little clarification there. Uh, but let's take a look at some of the uh, details and specs here. You guys can see the model number there. It says from 2001. Uh, round watch, sapphire crystal, analog display. Uh, it is a sliding clasp, it says. Uh, it's 44 millimeters in diameter with 14 millimeters of thickness. Uh, stainless steel band, uh, 22 millimeters band width. So again, you could change it out if you want. Um, silver uh, band, black dial. Here, say it's, it's really a screw down crown water resistant. Uh, special features. Sometimes Amazon doesn't get the details uh, right. It is water resistant to 660 feet, which is really cool. And again, with, with this watch, one of the things I can personally tell you is that um, it's kind of like shark mesh bracelet. Extremely, extremely comfortable on the wrist. It's something that uh, that literally I, I would recommend keeping on because it just molds to your wrist. That's the uh, box there. And of course, your Amazon just always shows you the different uh, size of watches that can, um, you know, fit you or whatever it is. So, so that's that watch. Of course, it is in stock. So the Super Contiki Heritage from Eterna. Next up, I know it will be a lot of people's favorites, the Oris Aquas. Okay, guys, so now we're at oris.ch. Sometimes Oris's website takes a second to load. Uh, not sure why, it's sometimes just a little slower. But anyways, um, this is the Oris Aquas date, and it's actually funny because um, this watch um, was based off of the um, Oris Aquas Clean Ocean uh, limited edition that pretty much sold out, I actually had, um, got rid of. Um, but this one is based off of that with the uh, blue color. This one's just not limited edition, but Oris decided to come out with a few different sizes, um, which is actually kind of cool. So this one's at $2,200. Again, retail price. And uh, let's go into the case here first. It is the 39.5 millimeter uh, multi-piece stainless steel case, tungsten minute scale top ring. Um, you have a sapphire uh, crystal domed on both sides with anti-reflective coating inside and it is water resistant to 30 bar and you know a negative with with the Oris, you know although it's I mean it's kind of a somewhat integrated e bracelet but not uh, 21 millimeter interhorn width um, this does have the automatic uh, winding date the Oris caliber 733 the base SW200-1 movement um, does have just the uh, date, of course, at 6 o'clock position. Power reserve of 38 hours, and it beats at 28,800 vibrations per hour, or 4 hertz, with 26 joules. And the dial is, of course, blue. It's a, uh, th this is considered a sunburst dial. And the strap bracelet is stainless steel, multi-piece, uh, security folding clasp with extension. Of course, these are just some of the pictures here. Just want to show you guys this. Really is a very uh, beautiful, stunning watch for the most part. I know that this is a huge favorite of a lot of people. That's the uh, Loom. And uh, yeah, let's watch the uh, video for a second. Not sure why there's no sound there. There we go. Let's take this back for a second and we'll uh, with the sound in.
That's their uh, model, go your own way. And here are just some of the, um, say more on because I actually want to take you up for a minute. So you can always um, select the size you want, case material, dial, strip, strap bracelet. So it does come in different sizes, 39 and a half, all the way up to 43 and a half millimeters, just to let you guys know. That's the Oris Aquas date again at $2,200. Next, we're going to go into the Rado Captain Cook. Okay, guys, so this is the uh, Rado course right there. This was actually the first automatic brand uh, watch that I ever purchased. Uh, it's the Captain Cook Automatic. And, of course, let's take a look at some of the um, pictures here before we get into the uh, details. That's the back. It's exhibit, uh, not exhibition, excuse me, just screw back, uh, case back. That's the uh, clasp. It's a uh, dual deployant. That's just kind of a uh, simulator on the wrist. And that's pretty much all the pictures there. Um, so let's get into some of the um, specifications here. Um, the case thickness is 12.3 millimeters, water resistant to 30 bar. It's a screw down crown uh, with a blue dial. Movement power reserve is up to 80 hours, which is actually really kind of cool. Again, put it down on a Friday, pick it back up on a Monday, and it's still running. And you get a stainless steel bracelet. And uh, let's take a look here at more specifications. Um, screw down crown, sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating. Screw back case back as we already went over. Ooh, case shape is round. Of course. Um, let's see here. Uh, 42 millimeter in diameter. 169 gram total weight at 42 millimeters. And that is the uh, Captain uh, Cook automatic by Rado. Okay. Next, we're going to go into the Tudima Grand Flieger Airport Automatic. Okay, guys, so we're back. So one of the things I did just want to point out, I know some of you are probably saying yourself in your head, like, you know, some of the uh, watches that you've shown, like, it's not exactly the price that, you know, you had in your list or whatever it is. Some of the prices do change, you know, on a daily or monthly or whatever it is basis. So sometimes they go up a little bit, sometimes they go down. I don't necessarily have control over it, but when I did create this list... The prices were what they were. So I did just want to let you guys know. Again, the Rado uh, Captain Cook Automatic at $2,100. This is uh, Tutima.com. And this is the uh, Grand Flieger Airport Automatic 6101-02. So this is the uh, watch itself. Day date, of course, on the uh, stainless steel bracelet. Water resistant to 20 ATM. And... Uh, these are all just the different versions that they have here, as you guys can see. Um, let's take a look at some of the uh, details, of course. Actually, I didn't really want to click on that, but that's okay. But it does come in chronograph and other, other versions. All right, so uh, the movement is the Caliber 2DMA 330 stainless steel case. The dial uh, is velvet black. The band is stainless steel with folding clasp, 43 millimeters diameter, 13 millimeters of height. And a few more details here for you guys. Um, automatic movement, rotor antique gray with gold seal, 25 jewels, polished screws, power reserve when fully wound at 38 hours. Again, industry standard, 38 to 42. And it has the date display, hour, minute, sweep second, day of the week. And uh, it's water resistant to 20 ATM, bi-directionally rotating bezel, which means you can move it either clockwise or counterclockwise uh, with luminous marking, dome sapphire crystal, anti-reflective, screw and crown, see-through back with sapphire crystal. So that is the uh, Grand Flieger, of course. And... Um, of course, as you guys saw, the uh, the price is not listed there, but the price on that one is uh, about two thousand one seventeen forty five. 
Uh, let's get into the next watch, which is the Maurice Lacroix Acon Venturer. All right, guys, so getting to the end of this list here, uh, MauriceLacroix.com. This is the new Acon Venturer, 43 millimeters. There's the reference number there at $2,190. And uh, this, of course, is the watch. And uh, do maybe like a little bit of a zoom in here. Also comes on a uh, rubber strap as well, just to let you guys know. And uh, let's take a look at the uh, let's take a look at the video here. Black dial as well. Super lumen over there. That's the uh, screw back case back. Solid, not exhibition. Quick release uh, pins for the strap. Those are the different vari variations that they have. Blue dial, black dial on rubber and steel, of course. All right, so let's take a look at this one here. Uh, 43 millimeter case diameter, stainless steel case, water resistant to 30 ATM. Uh, blue dial, also comes in black. Strap material, stainless steel on this particular model. Easy strap exchange, yes, those were the... Um, uh, two little pins in the back that you saw that you could just squeeze together take the band off and squeeze together when you're putting another band on uh, Butterfly buckle and stainless steel. It is an automatic Maurice Lacroix 115 caliber. It has hours minutes and seconds date at 3 o'clock 26 joules 38 hour power reserve and 28,800 vibrations per hour and or 4 Hertz um, and let's see here with this, uh, description features and description is right, uh, right over here. Uh, I just want to see if I could take a look at one quick thing for you guys. Um, hmm, let's see here. Yeah. And then the 43 uh, millimeter. So that's the, uh, Acon Venturer. Next watch we're going to go into, of course is the Tag Heuer Aqua Racer, $2,550. Okay, so guys, we are back, tagheuer.com. This is the Tag Heuer Aqua Racer, again, at $2,550. And what's actually kind of cool on their website is that when you go there, uh, it takes your computer's time and it syncs it with the uh, 